Hello and welcome to the second chapter of Mastering Engineering Drawing Foundations to Expertise. This tutorial will demonstrate geometrical construction of arcs. In the previous chapter, we explored basic constructions involving lines, such as bisecting lines, drawing tangents, and creating both perpendicular and parallel lines. Now, let's move on to arcs. In this chapter, we will dive into the construction of arcs, a fundamental aspect of geometric drawing. The key constructions we will cover are 1. Finding the center of an arc 2. Drawing a circle through three points 3. Connecting two straight lines with an arc 4. Connecting a line and an arc with another arc 5. Connecting two circles with an arc by mastering these techniques, you will gain the foundational skills to create precise and accurate arcs in engineering drawings. Let's begin. Arc Construction 1 Let's start by finding the center of a given arc. Suppose, AB is the given arc. Draw two chords, CD and EF, of any lengths within the arc. Now, construct the perpendicular bisectors of CD and EF. The point where these bisectors intersect is the center of the arc, denoted as point O. This method ensures accurate placement of the center for any given arc. Arc Construction 2 Let's learn how to draw a circle through three given points, let's say A, B, and C. First, join the points A to B and B to C, forming two line segments, AB and BC. Now, draw the perpendicular bisectors of AB and BC. The intersection of these two bisectors is the center of the circle, which we will call point O. With O as the center and a radius equal to the distance from O to any of the three points OA, OB, or OC, draw the required circle. This method ensures that the circle will pass through all three points accurately. Arc Construction 3 Now, let's move on to connecting two straight lines, AB and BC, with an arc of a given radius, RA. These two lines can either form an acute angle or an obtuse angle. In both cases, first, draw a line parallel to AB and at a distance equal to RA from AB. Similarly, draw a line parallel to BC and at the same distance RA from it. The intersection of these two parallel lines gives the center of the arc, denoted as point O. With O as the center and the radius equal to RA, draw the required arc, connecting the two straight lines. This technique ensures a seamless arc connection between the two lines, maintaining the specified radius for a smooth junction. Arc Construction 4 In this example, we will connect a straight line, AB, and a given arc, CD, with another arc of radius, RA. There are two possibilities to consider, inward connection and outward connection. In both cases, begin by drawing a line parallel to AB and at a distance equal to RA from it. Then, using the center of the arc, CD, let's call it point P, draw an arc with a radius adjusted to R minus RA for an inward connection or R plus RA for an outward connection. The intersection of the parallel line and the new arc will give the center of the desired arc, denoted as point O. With O as the center and the radius equal to RA, draw the required connecting arc. Following this approach provides a precise connecting arc, either inward or outward, between the straight line and the given arc. Arc Construction 5 Finally, we will connect two circles with an arc of radius RA. Suppose the two circles have radii, R1, and R2. 
There are three possibilities to consider, inward connection, outward connection and cross connection. Moving forward, using the center of the first circle, let's call it point, P, draw an arc with a radius equal to, R A plus R 1, for an inward connection, R A minus R 1, for an outward connection, R A plus R 1, for a cross connection. Similarly, using the center of the second circle, let's call it point, Q, draw an arc with a radius equal to, R A plus R 2, for an inward connection, R A minus R 2, for an outward connection, R A minus R 2, for a cross connection. The intersection of these two arcs gives the center of the connecting arc, denoted as point O. With O as the center and the radius equal to R A, draw the required arc, connecting the two circles. This approach provides an accurate arc connection between the two circles, adaptable for inward, outward, or cross connections as required. That wraps up this chapter. Up next, we will move on to geometrical constructions of angles, where we will explore how to bisect angles, construct specific angles such as 60 degrees, 30 degrees, 15 degrees and perform other essential angle constructions. Stay tuned for more insightful lessons.